What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel, Ron Kwok here. And you know how we're all trying to just get a little bit more efficient with our everyday routines and loadouts? Today is about that. Everyday carry is about keeping a set of tools with you either on your person or in your daily bag each and every day because it helps you get the job done. Without these tools, you'd be set back in a pretty big way. And you might not be able to get everything that you wanted to get done either as completely or as efficiently as you might like. Over the years as an EDC enthusiast, I've learned that gear selection is a huge part of it, but there's also little things that you can do to modify or improve your gear that'll make your life just a little bit easier. One of those ways is to add paracord to your kit. Without getting too deep into it, paracord is a tough nylon rope that was originally used by the military as a component in their parachutes. Now there are a lot of varieties out there, but when you and I talk about paracord, we're mainly talking about this. This is type three paracord or 550 cord. That just means that this was designed with a minimum breaking strength of 550 pounds. Now while you and I might not be using this to make parachutes, there are a few ways to incorporate paracord into your gear to make using your gear a little more efficient and a little bit easier. Let me show you how I use paracord in my kit. The first way I use paracord in my kit is as a knife fob. Depending on the size of the knife and the size of your hand, you might not be able to get a full and complete grip on your knife at all times. Maybe the choil here is not big enough for you to choke down on, or the handle is just not big enough to accommodate your pinky finger, so it might be dangling off, you might lose some handling in that sense. So adding a knife fob to the end of that knife gives your pinky finger something to hold on to, and you don't have to worry about losing control of your knife. Also, when you have your knife in your pocket, Depending on how deep of a carry your pocket clip provides, you may not be able to get an easy grip on your knife when trying to pull it out of your pocket. And so by having a paracord fob at the end of your knife, it makes it that much easier for you to grab your knife out of your pocket. Now there are a lot of ways to tie a paracord fob onto your knife, but I really love the look of snake knots. So that's what I went with on this setup. This is the Spyderco Para 3 with a matching gray Lynch deep carry clip, as well as a matching gray paracord fob tied with snake knots. I was debating on going like multiple colors on it, but man, just a single tone, all gray. Super clean. Another example I have for you is the Ferrum Forge Falcon. I went with a gray and black color combo here, so there's the gray titanium handle, a black clip, and a black snake knot paracord fob. Gray and black, very industrial, huh? Now, if you want to see exactly how I tied that knife fob onto my Spyderco Para 3, I did a full step-by-step -step tutorial, as well as a few ways to improve your knife carry in this video that I'll link right here. Another way to use paracord in your kit, and this sort of extends into your daily bag and daily organizers, is to incorporate it as a zipper pool. For example, this is the Moment Travel Wear Tech Organizer. It's a great way to organize all of your cables, batteries, phone accessories all in one place, so you don't ever need to fumble around in your bag for certain pieces of electronics. Now, when I started using this organizer, I noticed that it didn't have a zipper pool. This is a sleek package. It's really minimal, matte black, looks real clean but it's not readily apparent where the position of the zipper might be, especially if you're pulling this out of your bag, you might not know if it's here or here. Very easy to fumble with the zipper. And so, let's fix that, shall we? Boof! Woo! Simple as that. Look at that. Did the same thing as before, just a few snake knots, and it acts as a zipper pull instead of a knife fob this time. Tied it straight onto the zipper, it's got a small footprint, it's not like it's a huge lanyard hanging off of there, and it'll make getting into your tech organizer that much easier. Went with a high vis orange because I've got a matte black bag, this is a matte black organizer, and so when you pull it out of your bag, it'll be really easy for you to see exactly where the zipper is at all times, you won't have to worry about the positioning of the zipper, and even when you throw it back into the bag, you won't have to be mindful, oh, okay, I'm putting it in in this orientation, so that next time when you pull it out, you know where the zipper is at, just take one glance at it, high vis orange, that's where the zipper is, unzip, access to all the goodies. I know it's gonna make that part of my daily routine a breeze and it probably will work for you as well. Another way I use paracord is to easily locate my stuff. Oh, damn it. Lost my keys again. I don't know where I'm gonna find them this time. Oh, I wish I didn't love Matt Black so much. Everything is just 
one color. It's so hard to see. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> oh. Now I have a high viz key fob on my keys, and again, it is a snake knot fob. Having it on here makes it easy for me to locate my keys wherever I have them. I would love to remember to put my keys in my EDC tray or to hang them on my magnetic alpaca hub strip all the time, but I'm not perfect and sometimes I gotta just throw my keys on the couch and do whatever I gotta do. Having that high viz key fob on there makes it easy for me to locate my keys as I'm walking by and it'll cue me to remember to put it back in my EDC tray and not lose them next time. As you know, keys are one of the most misplaced things in life. I've misplaced my keys dozens of times and it sucks every time. So having a high viz paracord key fob on there makes it easier for me and streamlines my routine a little bit. Now one final way you can use paracord in your daily kit is to just have some on you. I keep a bundle with me in my everyday toolkit, which I have in my daily bag each and every day. If you wanna see a full breakdown on what I keep in that toolkit, I'll go ahead and link that video right here. But I keep about six feet on me at all times, as well as a lighter handy to singe the ends just to you know add to the longevity of your paracord so that they don't fray at the ends. Having some paracord at the ready can come in absolute clutch in emergency situations or in situations where you least expect it, or when you're bombing down a mountain on your snowboard and your snowboard strap breaks and you gotta tie yourself down to get to the bottom of the mountain safely. That's highly specific because that's actually happened to me. But I was really glad that I had that bundle of paracord on me and it might come in clutch for you too. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, you guys. There's so many creative ways to use paracord. You just gotta have some on you and learn a few knots in the process. If you've been watching my videos in the last few months, you'll notice that I have a GA2100 with a one-of-a-kind watch strap. It's a paracord strap that I made myself with the fishtail technique. These are just a few ways I've integrated paracord into my everyday carry, and it's made quite the difference. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got something useful out of it. If you did, let me know by smashing that like button down below, subscribing if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I release new everyday carry videos just like this one. Thanks y'all again for showing up, I really appreciate it, and until next time, live with purpose. Live with purpose. <laughs> Peace.